Cool. Well, uh, that seems to be working. Sure, we'll go with that then. Hello, hello, and welcome back to some more Strawberry Jam 31 uh, Dread. We have Dreadnought by Cassilius. Apologies, I'm just setting things up still because YouTube was being dumb when I tried to create this string and didn't want to let me actually create one through the scheduler, so I had to create one through the weird start now thing. Um, so I'm still actually getting stuff sorted and set up properly, so one minute please! Da -ba -da -ba -ba. Where are we? Where am I? What is even going on around here? There we go. That's what I wanted, that's where I wanted to get to, that's what I wanted to do. First, let's make sure the chat is also working. Yes, yes, last time we finished off previous map, our Rubial Antics by Eris, and now we are here. And the map just kind of plonked me down on this random island in the middle of a lake of lava. I can hear myself in the distance. That's no good. Let's stop that. We do not need echoes. Cool. So we have no books or anything to read. Unless they're in this barrel that I'm standing on. It's entirely possible they're in this barrel that I'm standing on. Yep, there most certainly is a book in the barrel that I was standing on. I'll well, we'll read that one then. Got some wood, got some cobble, so it looks like we're gonna be making a stone pick right away. I need the wooden one. Copper long sword. Looks like wood to me, but sure. We'll go with it. Uh, options, keep inventory off, death counter on, difficulty normal, please. Lock that in place. Rules, find the monument to place or five. Okay, like the previous gem map, there are five objectives. Five colored wall objectives on it, find them in chests. Not obtain them in any other way, play on at least normal. There is no rule four. You may build, craft, kill, or break anything you want, and don't cheat. Enjoy. Colon. Closing bracket. Amazing. Well, I think the best thing to do is make a stone pick right away. Before we have the ability to do so, and a stone pick is significantly better than a wooden one. Uh, let's make an axe as well. Sure, why not? It's a decent weapon. And if we find more wood, we can break it more quickly. Also not particularly short on stone. There's a whole bunch of that everywhere. Wood may be a little bit more rare. We saw these four pieces there. Did have a little look at the map when I was taking the thumbnail. And I don't recall seeing too much wood around. Uh, we need to build a bridge. We need to make a bridge. Um, how deep is the lava? It's more than one block deep. So I can't really do any parkour to get across the bridge. Let's not waste pickaxe durability more than we have to here. Let's break the easily breakable blocks instead and use these for our bridge. I want to keep the cobblestone around to make tools with, if at all possible. Maybe a furnace at some point. Can we get a flint quickly? Maybe yes, maybe no. Okay, got a bit of coal here. Wood is definitely the thing that we're short on, at least to begin with here. Uh, hello? Mobs? Mobs, tripwise. Traps? Sporters?
both. Either. Uh, I'll go left first. We have a door. We have a chest. What is in the box? A little bit more stone. Stone shovel and another stone pick. Immediately going to ditch the wooden one. Um, this just looks like a window back through to where we were. Nothing behind the gravel. What's through here then? Creepers and wood. I'm glad to see at least one of these two things. Okay, there's a way upwards up there. Red dragon scale. Health boost too. That's a custom enchantment. Presumably it gives us, yeah. Two max health. Well, looks more like four, really. Kind of. We have also suddenly noticed that something weird is going on with the food bar. We are not being healed. And we are being given infinite saturation. So something... Hmm. Does it hit things to heal? I started healing and I hadn't even killed the zombie. Now oh, there it is. There it is. I think I might have heard something just click as well. Interesting. Maybe that was from up above somewhere. Going up. More creepers. Instinctively trying to block despite lacking a shield. And there go the stairs. There goes the neighborhood. Hello, ho -wo in the chat. Get the spawner. Uh, some armor, some potions. Looks like these might be more important than usual. We have health weirdness happening. Not entirely sure how we're healing still. Uh, sure, we should probably yoink the chest. Nothing in the middle of the gravel. One spawn it in the middle of that gravel. Oh, hey. Yeah, I'm healing on mob hit. Hmm. That's an interesting little extra thing to consider. I've seen heal on mob kill before, but never heal on mob hit. And that might actually make low, dura low damage weapons more useful. If I just punch this guy, he does nothing. If I whack him with that, it does nothing. Does it need to be the sword? Will an axe work? Axe works. Come on, buddy. You can do it, you can fit through the doorway. I believe in you. Okay, I don't believe in you that much. What if I... Hmm. I guess that was probably the case, but... I want to do a little bit of experimenting here. Nope. 
And we get healed 1 HP. Looks like it. Also, if the mob doesn't have too much health left and we hit it, it does nothing. So it's more to do with how much damage the mob actually takes. Whoop. No, you don't. No, I don't. Bit of a waste of a potion. Just slightly. Really, dude. Get out of here. And we already have a crafting table. Don't need to make another one. One of these. One of those. I have too many arrows yet, but we have a few. Shield would be really nice, because the health boost is doing nothing for me. And being able to block things would be very useful. Where did drop skeleton come from? Hello! Is this the land of creepers? I also don't want to actually hit the things too rapidly, because then I won't get all the healing possible. Making sure a bow also works. Bow doesn't seem to also work. Difficult to tell, though, because the advancement popped up where the, uh, the potion effect indicator would usually go. I'm not actually sure. Uh, let's not throw that on the ground. Make another weapon. Yeah, I need to make sure it's on full charge before I swing, otherwise it does nothing. So many potions. We have used them all. Let's wear the skeleton skull since we don't have anything better. Should help out a little bit. Yeah, the bow doesn't work. We need to get in close. Which is tricky when you don't have a shield. And you're up against things that shoot. Okay. Run. No. No. Skeletons even come from. Are they natural spawns? Is that even a thing in this map? Does this map have natural spawns? Would guess probably not. Is it there? Well, maybe. There's a random Enderman that's appeared right down there. Maybe it just has very reduced natural spawns. But that's the thing you can do now. Certain what the intended way down to get to this ledge is. But I'm going down this way. I'm going down. Something just clicked again. Something in the far distance is clicking at me. 
And I do not appreciate it. Come on then, buddy. See ya. Collect the wood. Uh, zombie flesh is utterly useless because we don't need to eat anything. Any real point to coming up in this direction? Don't see any chests or anything around here. Just that little bit of wood. Still need to actually finish Dreadstone at some point map that KBT said he would update and then never did. I stopped apparently playing it because he said he would update it and then he didn't. And then he didn't. And then he made bingo instead. Nothing in there. Nothing over here. Uh, nothing obvious up here. I think the lava is going to stop anything from spawning around at this location anyway. Look, I can see the edge of the world from here. Let's get some of the gravel. I do want to have a look on top of this thing. Yeah. Some nice looking things. Torches, ammunition, rest of the leather armor. Got one unbreaking mending, very nice. Unbreaking one. Not actually better than our current weapon. Don't really care about the unbreaking too much on an otherwise unenchanted bow. Um, sure, I'll take the cobwebs, why not? We currently have room for them. Anything up on top of this structure? Yes. Reasons not to come up it. Uh, anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Doesn't really look like it. Yeah, I have no idea what that random segment of bridge is doing all the way over there. That I noticed when I was taking the thumb to a random floating section of bridge. And a little rock. And I have no idea why. Whoop! Jump! Okay. Whoop. Down you go. That's what I suspected. It's a leftover from something. Okay, we have found our way above the spawn. Thunderbolts and lightning, very, very frightening. Ooh, Galileo, 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 Figaro. Not sure why I'm going around in this direction. way to go is clearly over there. And I'm looking for the hidden loot. Here it is. Spare set of leather armor. Um, do we have anything better than an empty glass bottle to put on the hot bar? Not really. Cobwebs maybe? 
Okay, but might actually rather useful. Reaper, ironically enough, is probably one of the easiest ways to heal reliably without taking damage. Because it can't melee attack you right away, and it doesn't have any ranged. Okay, uh, I need to get a few blocks to get over there with. Hopefully we have enough already. Get some brick here. Hopefully nothing is waiting on the other side. Hmm, seems safe enough. over there. There's more creepers. Probably a good spawner to keep around actually. Maybe not a particularly unpleasant thing to keep there. Let us heal if we need it. Where are these ones coming from then? There's definitely more than that little cave. Yep, yep. Hello. Not sure what I keep looking behind me for. There's nowhere I can run if a creeper did come up from behind me. Just be stuck in between creepers and more creepers. Any more for any more. Oh, yep, yep. Hello. Hello. Oh. No. Bother. Okay, well they survived. This looks like a very nice grinder location if you want to do such a thing. Maybe there's an area full of sand. Maybe we can get a whole ton of TNT. Probably not, but it would be nice. Anything at the very top? Parkour properly, please. Going up, 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 to the top, top, top. Gonna see what I can see up there. Get a better look at the area if nothing else. I mean, why wouldn't you check the top? It's a little pillar covered in creepers. I think they would be guarding something, right? Makes sense to me. Even if there isn't, we get a good view and we get a load of blocks. There's nothing. But we've got a good view. We've got a load of blocks. Uh, that looks like a tree. Way the way back over there.
nothing else that particularly catches my eye from the top of this cliff. I was going to call it a tower, but that's not really accurate. Anything back down there? There's a bunch of wood. I wonder how quickly we're going to find the monument. It's worth setting up a little miniature base somewhere. I currently have enough string for a bed. Look at the blaze spawner over there. Well, it's also rude not to invite somebody in for tea when they come knocking at your door, so... They were rude first! Down with Blaze. There's some more cobwebs. Goodbye, creeper. So long, farewell. Here we got more cobble, more torches, some brick, some high durability brick. Another one of these, another one of those. Mm, slightly better helmet. Where did the creeper come from? On the ledge above me. Kind of. Up there. Hello, spider. We'll have to go back and have another look then, won't we? Let's get rid of the glass bottle. Mm -hmm. There's another creeper. I feel like we should set up a little base somewhere around here. Just in case. There's a lot of lava around, and I would rather not burn my everything. Oh, hi. Oh, bye. That one. Yeah, and that one. Jump, de jump, de jump, jump. Going to the top of another hill. Doing the breaking of the blocks. Probably not the intended way to get up here. No, you don't. You're definitely not the intended way to get up there. Get out of here, skeletons. Off with you. Okay, jump, jump. Oop, hide.
Okay, he has a lot of armor, and that is good. That means I can heal more. Okay, light up that ledge. Yeah, this seems like a decent little place where we could make a decent little base. Clear out the top section first, though. Would be more homely without the drop creeper noises. the drop creepers. There. Okay. Everything up here fell off of ledges. There's a mob behind that, so I'm going to break this one first. Hi. Bye. Good stuff. Anything further up? Obsidian. Probably not then. Torches. Golden pick is nice. Let me leave up here. How much? I would like to have all of these things. Okay. I'll set up a little, little tiny base down here then. Ring with a view. Okay, cool, cool, good, good. Fortunately, this floor is going to look derpy because all those blocks are the wrong way round. That's fine, right? Okay. Chest, blocks, armor, spare bow, some tools. Probably take that one with us actually. Drop some of the raw materials off. Don't need the gold pick right now. Don't need the intro book. Do, in fact, want to use the doors. Not there. There. Yeah, that and that and that. Sure, right, good, fine. Now have inventory space again. Have that on the bar. Um, do we want two skeleton spawners for anything? Are these useful for anything in particular? Actually, I guess I break them. I'll keep them here for the time being. Creeper one though. Have other ones down in a better location. Cool. Hmm. 
Let's try and find this important thing, which what we've apparently missed then. And gather up the logs that we didn't get on the way. Oh. A ladder shortcut. So it is. That's fairly important. Since we don't have a bed yet. I wonder if that was it. Now that we have the shovel, we can break all of this fairly quickly. Clean up the area, have a better look around. Break things that are still hiding behind slabs. Don't make a bed. What is this? Hangar 52. either. It breaks things. I deal with the spawning system so you don't have to. Okay. Nothing up in there. It'd be nice if there was a game rule, actually. They're just disabled sleeping altogether. There's ones that make you prevent taking fall damage and stuff. Can we have a, a no sleeping game rule? Liz Mojang. It would make making intricate custom spawning setups easier. So you, so you don't have to worry about right clicking on a bed. Going around and clearing up the gravel. Void fog game rule, that too. That would be useful as well. Though, uh, area I'm just going into in Cooney's map is using Optifinder magic to do a very similar looking thing to Void Fog by changing light maps. That's rather cool. I would go and look at that if you haven't already, because that's rather cool. That's pretty much the same thing. Requires Optifine, of course, but uh, it's still very nice. And you don't even have to worry about it being the right Y level. <laughs> Not sure why I'm cleaning up all of the gravel. Probably isn't really strictly necessary. But I'm looking for hidden things. Also not sure why I'm bothering collecting all these if I'm not going to be making a bed with them. Don't need that many bows. Cleaning simulator. Just cleaning up the dungeon, don't mind me. Yeah. 
really know where I really would have missed anything else, particularly. Break, break, the break, 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 break. What was the thing that kept going click? We never found where that was exactly. Down that set of stairs, maybe? No, that's a set of stairs that I made earlier. thing. Definitely lava up here. gravel for anything. We have it. Hello creepers. Yeah, looks like a direction where we haven't been. break my way down the side again, but we have a bunch of gravel. So why not use it? And the creepers will blow it all up. And then we won't have a good way to get back out again. Like that. Exactly like that. Precisely, in fact, like that. Looks like a box over there. It is probably fairly important, yes. That we would have found it eventually when we got to the next one and realised it wasn't the first one. Yeah, that's the thing that kept going click. Nothing left. It's all dispensed out. There's a shortcut. And there's the white wall. Excellent. Yeah. And we're back at the beginning of the area again, aren't we? So we are, so we are. Trap design 101. If you have tripwire in a location that may have enemies nearby, don't hook tripwire directly to what it triggers. Instead, hook tripwire to a command block that detects whether or not the player is nearby. Then hook the output of that to the thing that triggers. There you go. That is how you avoid all too common situations like that, where the trap dispenses things prematurely. 
Graphic Designer 101 with VSM, there you go. So people were talking on the Discord earlier about MC Stacker and creating custom items being confusing. Because you need to make a custom sword and you need to put an attribute on it, another modifier, and it removes all the existing modifiers, and so you gotta add them back again with like minus attack speed and yeah. So maybe I'll make a tutorial or something on how to use MC Stacker because yeah. It could be useful. I have a lot of time off work coming up for the Christmas period, so I don't have the time to make such a thing. It feels like a thing I might be able to do. That, that, that. Keep the gravel since we have a ton of it. We don't need that many arrows. Have a double chest. Uh, I'm running out of torches, actually. Hopefully we find some more coal soon. I don't really have enough wood for charcoal. Keep one golden apple on me. Uh, let's pair these two together. Let's make a second one. Crafting table down. Here we go. Get all my house back off of these conveniently placed creepers. Gassed, really. Okay then. Okay, there's a lot of coal dotted around the cliff side we can go down and grab. Hello. A little bit quick, ain't you? A little bit speedy. Good, good. Of course, it's symmetrical, makes sense. Uh, anything in this patch of gravel? Doesn't look like it. Coal block. Coal block! Yay! Convenient. Make me more torches. That flickering is really annoying. Couldn't you have made it like one second or something instead of zero? Just to stop that. Okay, sure, let's just go down then. No. No. No gas allowed. Just call to make torches with coal and wood. Okay, so we got another area over there. 
And the area with all the trees back over there. There's a building over there. Um, looks like that might be a cave area because the terrain looks very rough and there's a cave entrance right there. Don't see too much else about from this angle. There's no optional objectives, so we don't need to look around too, too much for secrets. Okay, doesn't look like it dropped a gas, do you? Gunpowder. Am I going around breaking all of these? I'm not really too sure. But I am. So there. We've got campfire in the lava, which is a nice little trick. Makes the particles come out. Looks very nice. Maybe we'll get a fortune pick at some point. That would be nice. Monument and cobweb cavern. More wood. Not a whole lot around this side of the area. It's the uh, lone floating bridge segment. It's floating on the lava sea over there. Hmm. It's an impressive structure just loading in the background. Lots of coal everywhere, good, good, good. Lots of wood everywhere, also good, good, good. Some iron. Don't like the iron. Creation of a shield seems like it would be a very advantageous thing. Not sure how that blaze spawner didn't go off at least once. Seems like it really should have. That one did though. Break, breakity, breakity, break. Cool, 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 cool. Lava cave has iron in it and is worth exploring. Interested in the little house. There's an area over there. Probably better to bridge from down there actually than right here. Um, anything up over in this direction? There's clearly the intent to put something over here at one point, but it doesn't look like there actually is anything. Chest up over there. Chest up here. Purple dragon scale. Knockback resistance and armor. It's much more useful than the health boost. Ah, there's the monument. Cool, we just walked all the way around the thing. So I beelined directly for the iron. Hmm. Shulker boxes. 
torches. This just a copy of the settings in intro book. Indeed it is. Cool. Nice, we have a campfire. We can cook things that we don't need to, because there's no food system in the map. Excellent. But it looks nice. The iron going. This will bring everything of use from our little base that we made before over here. It's in this little side cavern then. And the obvious building, which I didn't check. A trader. Iron plus coal equals good enchanted armor and sword. We've got some bomb arrows. That's a nice texture. I think I saw that on the Discord at one point. That'll be Deneb's texture. It looks nice. Potions. Take all the cobwebs as well, maybe we can get a mob or two stuck in them. Okay, yeah, definitely worth using some of these trades. All of those trades. How dangerous is this little gl talking speech? How dangerous is this little cave then? It's got a lot of iron in it. And seems suspiciously unwell protected. Bug with the armor. Did somebody forget to change the UUID numbers? I've done that before. I've done that several times before. Yep. Yep. Forgot to tick the randomize UUID checkbox. Easily done. Things. Do, 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 do. Yeah, may as well gather all of it. There isn't too, too much down here. It shouldn't take too long to collect it all. Break, 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 break it, do break, break, break. There we go. That's all of it. Looks like it. I wonder if there's any water in the map. Or if it's all just lava. Lava everywhere. Some of this, both for making torches and trading. made out of granite in the floor and it's nothing. Hmm. If this map was made by render, that would be a something. 
but no. It is, in fact, a nothing. More of that. More of that. This place isn't particularly safe for being a base. I'm gonna make a little hidey hole in the wall then. to run out of pickaxe. Let's combine those two together. There we go. One of those, one of those. We need to make a few chests. Some of those. Some of these. Boink that. And just dump a whole bunch of random junk in here for now. Is probably short enough that we don't need to worry too much about sorting everything in depth. Okay. That, uh, the book, that, this, the other, these, those. Bring the enchanting, enchanting table? I wish. Crafting table in here. Another pick. Not sure why I just made a stone one. We're about to make a iron one. So that's pretty pointless. Like I can, I can just do this. I can just do that. That's better, isn't it? That's better. Thing stuff. Got the bomb arrows. Got the gapple. Let's quickly run back everything that we left at the previous little base. Should only take one journey to bring everything back of value since we have the shulker box. Not sure exactly where the spider mines are supposed to be, but somewhere around here apparently. We'll find them at the point when we're supposed to find them. Make our way up here again. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Get rid of that gravel. Don't need a singular piece of gravel. Okay, shulker box. What have we got that's actually valuable? Not a whole lot, really. We got a whole lot of blocks. And that's about it. A lot of blocks and some spare armor. around here then. Lots more coal. Good 
Good, good, good. Gather all of this very quickly. Just trying to figure out where the mobs came from. There's one of them. Where's the other? And up here we have... with a lot of health. Okay. That goes further up. Don't want to go further up quite yet. That's my way down. jump down there, but that's fine. If we gather some of this wood while we're walking by. spiders. So maybe we can find where that area is by just digging towards the source of the noise. Yeah, I thought I noticed that before. You get healed when you enter this area. and load everything from in here into this box cobwebs iron, iron We leave the wall behind. We left the wall behind. That's not a huge concern. We're going back in that general direction to deal with the next area anyway, so we can just grab it then. Big deal. Take that and that and despair. And if the UUIDs are broken, we may as well just make regular iron armor for everything else. Classic, exactly. We left the wool behind. As you do. Bam bam bam. Bam bam bam. And get rid of all of that stuff. Max out the torches. There we go. That and that. And might as well also make. one of these. And... Oh, one of these. And one of these. Is that better than plus four armor and five knockback resistance, though? Probably only in some situations where there are lots of creepers or lots of skeletons. If that is the case, I can swap it out. But for now, stick with the armor. It's better against anything that does melee damage. Hmm. 
Jump, jump, jump. Jump, buddy, jump. I have gone in completely the wrong direction. Get me my wool, please. The wool is the important thing. There we go. Single piece of blackstone. Or basalt, or whichever one it is. Taking up an inventory space all on its own. I need to experiment more with some of the new snapshots. I need to experiment with bundles. Bundles should be fun. For carrying potions. And stop complaining about having too many potions in the inventory. Actually just whack them all in a bundle. Seems like the better plan. What have we got in here? Maybe pick another iron sword. Various blocks. More blazes. Maybe I should have made an iron sword. Sword, shovel. I think you can. As I said, I need to actually download the snapshots and test them a little bit better, but I think you can put, like, at least four of them. I don't know, because they also changed how they worked. So you can put more things in them. I know you can put a lot of different blocks in them now. I don't know exactly how many potions fit, but... Presumably it's more than one per bundle. And even just four per bundle would be nice. Green dragon scale. With a smooth sandstone block instead of a red sand on top of it for some reason. 15% speed. That's not too terrible. Anything further up here? Doesn't really look like it, just the roof. And from what I'm looking at them... I guess beeline straight to the monument and got overpowered things. Yeah, yeah, I'm sequence breaking the map. Whee! I think their intention, kind of, from the latest snapshot I saw is them being used as more of a building tool. You can pick up blocks and put them directly into the bundle just by picking them up. And you can put them down. If you run out of a stack of blocks, you can just get more straight out and auto-equip them and such. Like there's some mods that do that already. Builder's wand and stuff, I think, gives utilities like that, where you can just dunk blocks straight out of an extra infantry little thing. And 
Thus, when you're working on making a very large structure, you don't need to go back to your chest of blocks every so often. Don't put the wool away. That would be a terrible idea. Otherwise, we'll totally lose track of where we put it. Run around to the table. Break. Uh, a balcony. A room. A blaze. That was a blaze once. Okay, this appears to be the actual way you would get into this area without sequence breaking and jumping down onto a balcony. Not sure how we go further up though. So different directions we can go in. It goes up again. Let's try up here then. Did see blaze spawner on top of this building. That's a lot of coal. Fortune pick. Fortune pick. Fortune two. I'm breaking one. Fortune two. Take that. Flint and steel could be useful. Ditch the four planks. Probably don't really need to collect all of this. I think we have enough coal at this point. There we go. there in an easily collectible form, I will collect it. Well, hi. No. Hmm. Really? Stop. Hello, room. Where does down here go then? Nowhere. There's no actual way to get into this tower. Well, that's fine. There was nothing inside of it anyway. It's just a copy-paste of the other tower. Jump, jump, jump. And destroy the creepers. So from here we've got this direction. What are these? Or one of those? No, nothing interesting looking in that room. Now this goes down here. Didn't expose the spawner, sadly. Either of them. That's a nice little door. I like using lots of trap doors like that. Whoop. 
Now, this is further down in the large room with all the balconies. Yep. 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 So it is. Mm, suspicious of traps in this corridor, but it seems fine. Lava down there, probably. Tempted to serpentine, and he shot me anyway. Yep, that's lava. This looks like a little bit of a scary-ish drop. Let's not go that way quite yet. Torches on the bar. Enderman. Torch, torch, torch. Smite three. Fire aspect unbreaking. Sure, that's better than the weapon I'm currently using. Spare shovel, leggings, no, I didn't actually bring a shulker box with me, probably should have done. To try and go right the way to the top of this room first. If that's at all possible. What have we got up here then? Unprimed spawners because we already visited the balcony directly below this room. More torches, pick that we don't need because we have an iron one. Nice solid blocks. Don't need the black stone. Um, don't need the stone sword. Yeah, and this is back over here. I just somehow missed that set of double doors. Fine, fine. Fine, fine, fine. He's Apollo Justice and he's fine. Okay. Need some more blocks on the bar. To make sure nothing's gonna ambush me from these side of directions first. Uh, got more potions, which I would like. Cool, cool. Jump. Jump. I've been shot with a bomb arrow, it looks like. Possibly. Yep. So with a skeleton, so dropping the lava on it isn't even going to do anything. Uh, at least I have regen now, somehow. Omaro must also have regen on it. Okay, nothing over in these side areas. Hmm. 
This seems bad. Regen potion. That'll be why we had the regen before. Yeah, I can see why. Suddenly we've got things shooting explosive arrows. This is a pretty annoying first string to encounter them in as well, because it's very vertical. Checking there was nothing above me. Yeah, I might switch out the shield for this little area. It feels like creepers. It feels like creepers. Not sure what creepers feels like, but this area feels like creepers. lava in the floor. Blaze up a lot of health. Bombs. Not too much value down that direction, just a couple of bomb arrows, really. You don't need the pick. Get the iron one. Yep. You missed. Like it could be trapped. Large pile of gravel. And so it was. And so it came to pass that the gravel was trapped and blew a massive ho hole in the floor. coming. Same again, possibly. Or it could just be a large pile of gravel. I broke a spawner. I need more blocks on the bar. Creepers. Uh, more bomb arrows. It's a decent weapon if we have room, which we do. Okay. Patch that back up. seemed like progression, so what's this direction? Ow. Fire. More 
bombs. It's another very nice potion. You don't need the bones. You don't need to grow anything. Just break it. Just break it. Ladders, ladders, ladders. Uh, sure. Where are we in relation to everything else? Ah, over here. Fine, fine. What's down here then? Apart from ominous thunder. The box. And the blazes. Yeah. The blaze can be a blaze. I'm out of here. Not too terrible, though I might have died in that first vertical room if I didn't have all the iron armor on me. If I hadn't gone to the obvious nice friendly looking section over there first, things probably would have gone worse. Not sure where the cobweb cabin is, but it's somewhere over in that direction, apparently. Maybe slightly further down the cliff. Let's see here, we have the white wool. And we have the magenta wool. Pink, purple, and red. Okay, we have good things, good things, good enchanted thingy things. We got some potions. We need quite this many potions. Uh, a couple of charms. That goes there. These go here. That goes there. Sure, we're full on torches. I'll keep the fence tail around, why not? And maybe keep the spare sword. Well, that does not bode well for me trying to find it. Map maker doesn't know how to find it. Sign says it's over in this direction. Hello, wall. Not behind the coal. One would assume this path would somehow lead to it. down here somehow. There we go. That wasn't difficult to find. What are you talking about? That was follow the path from the sign and look down the cliff slightly. It's fine. 
It's fine. Easy enough to find, to me at least. Eh, KVT. I'm clearly the superior three letter named individual. It's fine. Sorry, KVT. <laughs> eh. Creepers. Caverns. And cobwebs. Hello, hello in the chat. Red panda. Don't want to go too, too far into here because I'm supposed to be ending the stream fairly soon, but I want to take a little look around. Hi, 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 hi. Ha! You killed the spider. Stone is being helpful. Torch light goes everywhere. People can stay stuck over there. Uh, what have we got in this box? A whole bunch of chainmail. That's a pretty decent axe. I don't tend to use axes all too often. I should probably use them slightly more often than I do. But I do consider iron swords to be superior to iron axes. Stone and wood axes are probably better. Anything above that though, I think sword is the better choice. Okay, those flame arches, yep, yep, yep. They're gonna be annoying to deal with. They do a lot of unavoidable damage. Let's swap out the shield so we can actually block those things. This is 1.16, so blocking flame arrows will actually not set the player on fire. Which is excellent. You love to see it. Not that. Not the fire taking up a lot of the screen. You don't you don't love to see that. Shooting more fireworks outside. Any little opportunity to set the fireworks out. It's another month to go till New Year's Day. Stop it, you're a month early. Exercise some patience, please. Oh, there we go. I think we have a good idea of what to expect. Cobwebs, spiders, creepers, and flame arches are what await us in our near future. 
But for now, that is indeed, in fact, all the time that which I have. I expect we can probably finish this in one more stream. We only have two out of the five wool, but uh, we have our footing now. We're partway through the third area. Things are looking good. We know definitely where the other two are going to be. One over in that direction, one over in that direction. Flame spiders and flame arches. Flame everything. Everything has flame. Maybe there'll be blazes too. They're flaming as well. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. And thank you for making the map, Casilius. Your maps are cool. I hope that you enjoyed. Stay safe, and till next time, I shall wait in this little cave with a few chests in it, and I shall see you soon.